Sugar Baby. Everything you're wearing here, somebody bought for you. Well, I don't have a job. Oh, yeah, you do. And so is her mama. There is absolutely no sex involved. No. Do y'all believe that? You do like guys with fetishes. A little dance to keep it spicy and keep it on a classy level. What's not classy about having some guy lick your feet for money? He's a sugar baby. I'll wake up the next day and I'll have $5,000 in my account. It's that easy. But her fiancé doesn't know. You owe him the truth. What do you want to tell him? Um, basically that... Plus, reality star Kendra Wilkinson's marriage is in crisis. My husband of five years cheated on me with a transsexual. This moment was the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. Do you believe that your husband had some relationship with this person? Are you going to stay married? All right. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by, Dr. Phil. I'll try to be an emotional compass and point you in the right direction. In five, four. I am not giving up on you. to say that most women love receiving gifts from a man, right? Whether it's, whether it's jewelry or handbags or even expensive shoes like these. <laughs> you know, the ones with the red soles? Well, let's up the stakes. You like getting gifts from men? How about if they give you cars? Like a Range Rover Sport or a Mercedes? Or a Mustang Cobra with pink accents. <laughs> These wheels are actually what 26-year-old Riley says several men gave her, plus a whole lot more. Now, why? Why would they do that? Well, you see, Riley is a self-described sugar baby who dates older, wealthy men called sugar daddies. And she does it for gifts and money. Take a look. My name is Riley and I'm a sugar baby. I believe sugar babies are just cute girls that are smart and good company. I've been on a thousand dates, dinners, shows, shopping trips, traveling. It adds up. I ask for 2000 if it's like a whole day, night. The entire week is 5000 Travel is usually 5000 I always say finances before romances. My sugar daddies pay for all my bills. Minimum a month is 10 grand in bills. Oh my perfect, snap, snap. Thank you. Send me my money. In the last five years, I've had four cars. I've had my boobs done twice. I have a shoe fetish. I collect shoes. I probably have over 200 pairs. So I have a Mustang, a Range Rover. This is my dream car. The next goal is the Bentley. I want to be on that level. So I'm going to meet my Donald Sterling. The pouty face and the batting your eyelashes goes a long way. When they say, no, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm like, don't be a party pooper. You know we're going to have a good time. Please. I don't do anything sexual with my dates. I do not get fully nude. Topless does not bother me. I've been called slut, gold digger, homewrecking whore. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I have a very good life. You go on this website and you find these men. Right. And they give you thousands of dollars a month for a batting your eyes and a pouty face and going to dinner with them. They're looking for what their wife isn't offering anymore. After you've been married for so long, you lose that TLC, like holding hands, just listening, talking about other oh, things. So you're a relationship expert. I feel like I am. I do feel like I'm like a high-paid therapist in a way. You're obviously loaded, to be blunt. Um, if your wife, no, I'm just saying, like if your wife got fat, stopped wearing makeup, wearing sweatpants, you're going to lose interest, but you still have that love. And some people don't want to start over. So you're actually helping marriages. Uh, that's how I feel. I tell everybody that. We are, I, we make them happy so they go home to their wives and they're like, oh, I'm happy now. Maybe I'll treat you better because I'm in a good mood. And, and for this, you don't have sex. I don't need to have sex. I call it the gift of gab. You don't need to. There's ways around everything. And some of them will tell you, I'm looking for that. And I say, well, it's not going to happen. Either they're disappointed, but they deal with it or they leave. On one occasion, you were flown to L.A. from wherever you live, 
and you receive seven thousand dollars but no sex you've been flown to new york all expenses paid six thousand dollar hotel bill eleven thousand dollars in spending money no sex just here you go just thanks for coming so glad that you're here to massage my marriage the new yorker is worth 80 million dollars and he hates his wife but she would get half and he doesn't feel like he should give her anything so her. you're a legal consultant as well i'm saying it's not fair like why should a woman so you're get a relationship half expert and a, and a legal consultant okay you do like guys with fetishes though i do the foot fetish is my favorite okay hey someone wants to give you 500 bucks to lick your feet for an hour and you just sort of roll up your pants and Whatever. Anyone okay. who says no to that, I don't care what, who you are. And this is it. what you aspire to in your life. This is, you, you say, I'm not doing sex. You're happy to get naked, but you, you, you no, say. No, not fully nude, just topless. Oh, not fully nude, just topless. Okay. I mean, and if you've known someone for years and they, a little dance, like to keep it spicy and keep them interested in you, I don't feel it's wrong. Well, keep them interested in you for what? Just a little dance, like, you know, that, like, you what can't you have sex with me, but let's keep it spicy. Let's get to another level, but keep it still on a safe, classy level. Yeah, yeah, classy is key, isn't it? All right. What's not classy about it? What's not classy about having some guy lick your feet for money and taking your clothes off and dancing around for guys somewhere between 40 and 95 years of age? Uh, I, I don't know. I get... Society says it's wrong. I have a great life. I'm sorry that you have to work your butt off to get a Range Rover or whatever. You're like some people drive a key and they're like, oh, it's so great. Like, and a philosopher too. Okay. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I, I want to I wanna meet Riley's mother because she's raised a relationship expert, a legal expert, a philosopher, and a foot fetish lover. Uh, Riley says the sugar baby business has been so lucrative that <laughs> she didn't hide this from her mother. She convinced her mother to join, and now they go on dates together. I totally support my daughter being a sugar baby. In fact, I am one. My daughter, Riley, is teaching me how to be a sugar baby. I've been on five dates. In cash, I've received about $3,000. For most days, I do charge about $200 per hour. Sex is off limits 100%. I have been on some dates with my daughter. The man said he had a fantasy of two women whipping him. We both stripped down to our underwear and whipped him. He gave us each $300. It lasted for about 30 minutes. It was very awkward. I am proud of Riley. Riley is definitely a businesswoman. She makes her own money and she calls the shots. I do consider myself a rookie, but my daughter, Riley, is a professional sugar baby. Okay, so you're good, you're good with this, right? You're okay with this? I'm okay with this. You said you are so proud that you would just be blown away at how manipulative she is. Oh, yes. And you're really proud of that. Yeah, I mean, that takes a very strong person to do that, that's for sure. And you do have do's and don'ts, though, right? Absolutely. But you say, do keep the profile short and sweet, mm -hmm. right? Do seek older men, because the younger guys are just drama. You tell them, no sex before the date. Yeah, I was home, I'm not a pro. If you're looking for that, you're in the great city, go find one. They're everywhere. Yeah, and you negotiate the rate before the date. You get the money right? Mm-hmm, up front. And you get paid cash up front, right? After you know them for so long, they ask because a lot of them don't want you to go home and snort it. So that's what they say. They, they don't know if I do drugs or not. I tell them no. But, so they always say, well, can I pay your phone bill? Let me see your phone bill. Let me see your rent. Let me see your car payment. They want to pay your bills. They want to feel like they're contributing to you, like not cash is going to blow. And they don't want you to spend their cash on another man. So they want to make sure their cash is going where it should. Uh huh. And so, and you say, do bat your eyes and do give that pouty face. I do. Yeah. I, I got to see the pouty face. And like, I was like, don't be a party pooper. We're gonna have some fun. That can mean anything. So I'm gonna look. Hey, I have some nice stuff. So it works. <laughs> Lost myself there a minute.
Well, one family member says that what they're doing is nasty and disgusting, and we're going to talk to her after the break. I am shocked and devastated of the life that they are living. I don't believe anyone's giving them thousands of dollars without them giving them sex. Someone needs to knock some sense into these girls. And later, you have a fiance and he doesn't know. No. And you want me to help you tell him. Yeah. She drives a Bentley. Where do you think she gets that money? Oh, what do you mean? Do you know what a sugar baby is? on an all-new Dr. Phil. I believe that my wife has poisoned me three times. A suspicious husband. You trying to kill the boy? Absolutely not. A frightened wife. How'd your nose get broken? I have no idea. How hard did you slap her? A dangerous marriage. You said he ran over your foot. She needed me to run it over. She needed to be the victim. You're breaking my fingers! Tomorrow, then on Monday... My sister is a hypochondriac. She is destroying our family. I'm blamed for everything. You don't deny she has some physical complications. Nobody has 72. That's Monday. Where learning begins. I have interest in guys my age. I find guys who are successful and motivated and business savvy. I see myself doing this into my 50s. I feel like you look good. That's a big deal. Okay, Riley and Tanya are mother and daughter, and they're both sugar babies. They meet wealthy married men on a website called Seeking Arrangement, and then frequently go on dates together. And they claim men give them money and gifts just for their company, and there is absolutely no sex involved. Right? Right. Do y'all believe there's no sex involved? No. All right, Riley's Aunt Amy says she doesn't believe it either, Take a look. Riley introduced her mom to the sugar baby lifestyle. For Tanya to get involved in this, I think it's nasty and trashy. I am shocked and devastated of the life that they are living. I don't believe anyone's giving them thousands of dollars without them giving them sex. I was told by Riley and Tanya that they went on a date and they whipped the guy for money. Mother-daughter doing sexual acts together, it's just weird. Hooking up with married men is morally wrong and I think they're both whores. Someone needs to knock some sense into these girls. They're going down the wrong path and they're going to end up getting hurt or they're going to end up getting killed. They need help. Okay, a Amy's joining us and you're the aunt, correct? Correct. And you don't believe that sex is not involved here? Nope. Didn't the two of you wind up trapped yeah. in mm -hmm. some guy's condo in the winter and you had to strip down and wa in, to bra and panties, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then whip him while he pleasured himself. Yes, sir. This is mother-daughter bonding? What? There's more to it. There's more to it. Okay. Like, if you're going to twist it, first twist of all. Twist it? I'm just saying, like, this is not how we Did weren't, like, planning, like, hey, let's go together. And, like, it was, yeah. we were literally stuck in a blizzard in a canyon by ourselves, no phone service. He's like, I'm not digging you out until I'm happy in a way. And then after he mm -hmm. dug my car out, put my snow chains on, and we left. Does this seem reasonable to you? I mean, you're her mother. I'm very open-minded about everything, and I have no judgment. So whatever it is, it is. You said something interesting. You said, you said, I'm so proud of her. You'd be blown away at how manipulative she can be. Then she says, I just wonder how long I can manipulate them before they finally give up. And this is, you're proud of this. And she said, you're like her pimp. No, she did not say yes, that. Yes, she did. Ask her if she said that. You call me your pimp? Um, I know I didn't really say that like that, but... What? Uh, <laughs> does she negotiate for you? Yes, she does. She sets the right, gets the money right, negotiates it, and sets it up for you? Yeah, she's pretty much set up most of my dates. She's not determined enough. She can't... She doesn't have more shy to ask, <laughs> uh -huh. to ask what she wants. So, in cash and gifts, you say you're pulling down about 120 grand a year. In six years, it's like coming up on three-quarters of a million dollars. Call myself. And you were you were approximating, I understand. Self-made millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Um, <laughs> and are you making that kind of money? Oh, absolutely not. No. <clears throat> I'm, I have a job, life. and can I just say something? Sure. She was in college and dropped out of college to do this. I started rolling with coach bags and Louboutin shoes, and we were like, well, how are you affording that? So it, people started assuming I was either doing porn or being an escort or something. So finally I was like, okay, let me show you. Because I'm so blunt and honest, I have no shame in my game. If I was having sex for money, I'd be like, yeah, and mind your business. That's my thing. Like, it's not your business. But I'm not, so I want to get it out there that there's more to a man than just physical. Sometimes that mental is so much more important to them. Do you like men? I like some men. Some are just obnoxious. Some want she hates men. No, I she don't. She hates men. No, I don't. Why do you say she hates men? Because she's grown up. I've known her forever, and she she hates men. I'm not a man hater. If I wanted to be a millionaire, I could have married. I've met so many millionaires who's like, I will take you right now, wipe you up, make you happiest lady ever. Wife you up. Wife you up. <laughs> Just wife you up, huh? <laughs> so, everything you're wearing here, somebody bought for you. Well, I don't have a job. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> it's not working. A job is something you, you have to do. I don't have to do this. I like what I do. So you like your job. You, your job's a hustler. You, you hustle men for money. Everybody hustles. You're hustling. Yeah. You're right here. You're getting paid. <laughs> this is your hustle. You're, you're a guy on yes, TV. Yes, I am. I'm not, sure, <laughs> I'm not sure it's enough, but I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely getting paid. All right, we've got to take a break. I, I want Tanya and Riley to stick around for this next conversation because we're going to meet a woman who wants me to help her confess a secret to her fiancé, and it also involves sugar daddies. We'll talk to her next. have five to ten different sugar daddies. I've made about half a million dollars being a sugar baby in the last five years. Caesar's my fiance. Caesar has no idea I was ever a sugar baby. And later... Kendra Wilkinson in crisis over her broken marriage to Hank Basket. You're in a mess. I'm in a big mess, yes. Do you believe that your husband had some relationship with this person? I hate my grandpa. I hate what he did. You say he molested you in the bed with your grandmother. My grandmother doesn't want to admit that she knew. What do you want? You want, I'm sorry? I I'm want... sorry for what? I didn't see anything, but I'll be damned if I can stand out here and listen to your lies. What? My mom, she's an evil person. They say they are not allowed to visit their dying father. That is not true. If he wanted to see you, he'd call you. You are so hostile. His mom keeping them from their dying dad. Do you want a relationship with your children? Of course. Are you okay with me calling them? Stop asking for permission to talk to them. All the drama. Tell him what you want him to know. I just want you to be in my life. All happens this November on Dr. Bill. Volunteers at the Carlisle Fire Department do amazing things to make their community a better place. And so can you. Get involved. Visit carlislefire.net for a complete list of volunteer opportunities. Definitely worth it, because I didn't have to do a thing. I, I mean, I, I come home and it's done. It is so much easier to get into than our old tub. I love everything about it. And you hear so many stories about people doing renovations and it takes weeks or months, months and I mean one day that was amazing. Years and years of being ashamed to have anyone go into that bathroom. Now I have a bathroom I can be proud of. Your sleep affects your body in more ways than you probably think. If you suffer from sleep apnea or display some of the symptoms such as snoring, excessive daytime sleepiness, or fatigue, you may be putting yourself at a higher risk of a heart attack, stroke, diabetes, high blood pressure, dementia, and even death. It's time to wake up and treat these problems. White Family Dental offers a solution that is comfortable, compact, convenient, and effective. Don't wait another day. Schedule your free consultation today. White Family Dental. People you know, people who care. At Sam's Club, find top brands at members-only prices. Here's the savings breakdown. Delicious three-pound rotisserie chicken for $4.98. Savings breakdown, $1.66 a pound. 80 Folgers Gourmet Selections K-Cups for less than 49 cents a cup. 
50 count Frito Lay Classic Variety Pack. Savings breakdown 24 cents a bag. Join your new club in Mechanicsburg now and get a $100 membership for $45. Sam's Club. Life is better in the club. Imagine a health plan that gives you zero, as in zero co pays. If you're on Medicare and eligible for Medicaid, Gateway Health has a Medicare Advantage plan for you. Gateway Health Medicare Assured Diamond gives you better coverage, benefits, and service, plus zero monthly premiums and zero copay for primary care and specialist visits, hospitalization at ER, even transportation. Call 1 877 Gateway today for a better plan and a better you. Firefighting, administration, education, and outreach are a few of the exciting volunteer opportunities available at the Carlisle Fire Department. So join us. Whatever level of involvement is right for you, we've made it simple to become part of the team. Get involved. Go to carlislefire.net. Now, you're about to meet a young woman who wants me to help her confess a secret that she's kept from her fiancé for years. Now, like Riley and Tanya, Ashley is a sugar baby on the website seeking arrangement. Now, when she met her fiancé, Caesar, two years ago, she says she tried to stay away from the lavish lifestyle, but she claims she's addicted. I was a sugar baby for five years. I loved it. At any time, I could have five to ten different sugar daddies. The oldest man that I've ever gone on a date with has to be in his late 60s. It's my choice if I want to have sex with the sugar daddies or not. The percentage of the men that I think I slept with, I would say 10%. I am not a prostitute. I've made about half a million dollars being a sugar baby in the last five years. My favorite gift was a Bentley. I've gotten Louis Vuitton gifts, lavish vacations, pretty much anything that I asked for, I got. My sugar baby days came to an end when I met Caesar. Caesar's my fiance. Caesar's not rich now. I make more money than Caesar does. Caesar's a construction worker. Caesar has no idea I was ever a sugar baby. He thinks that I support myself financially through my business. I'm a home health care nurse. Being a sugar baby was great. If I wasn't with Caesar, would I still be doing it? Hell yeah, <laughs> I would definitely be doing it. Okay. Hi. So, <laughs> Ashley, I I'm. I'm understanding that you've stopped this now. Yes. I mean, ha and sort tell of. me, tell me the truth, because I can't help truth, you if you don't tell um, me the truth. You know, I still talk to some of the sugar daddies that I had. Um, I've seen a few of them. I haven't been with them sexually or like gone on an actual date date with them. Uh huh. Um, but I still do keep in contact with a lot of them. Do they still send you some money? Yeah, they still. Well, you know, I'll wake up the next day and I'll have five thousand dollars in my account, and I'm kind of like, where'd this come from? You know, I don't, they don't even tell me. They just do it. So, <laughs> yeah, it's that easy. You have a fiancé. I do. And he, you, and you, you love, love him, right? Oh, yeah. And he doesn't know. You've not told him. No. Do you want to tell him? I you, want, think you want to get it out there? The only way to go forward, like, in my relationship would be for him to actually know the truth. I mean, I don't want to build a relationship okay. based and on you, a lie. And you want me to help you tell him? Kind of, yeah. Because I, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to tell him. Like, I'm scared. I'm not going to yeah. lie, but yeah. Yeah. Well, Ashley's fiance, Caesar, doesn't know that she's a sugar baby, apparently, uh, let alone that she continues going to the Seeking Arrangement website. But he does know that Ashley loves the finer things in life, and he worries that she will eventually leave him to be with a man that has money and that can show her a more exotic life. Take a look. I proposed to Ashley two months ago. I feel excited, ready to be married to Ashley. When I met Ashley, she was driving a Bentley. Ashley makes a lot more money than I do. She has higher end things than I do. Ashley makes her money by working in a hospital. She's a nurse, kind of a blue collar worker. I try to make ends meet. In my mind, I wonder how can a nurse afford such luxury items? How could she afford to go to dinner in Beverly Hills? It's always in the back of my mind, but I always try to block it out. Part of me worries that she might want expensive things, exotic trips. One day, she could leave me for someone that's wealthier, more successful. But at the same time, too, when she says that she loves me, I believe her as well. Hey, it's good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dr. Phil. Um, you guys are in love. Yes. And you've asked her to marry you? Yes. And she said yes? Yes. Why are y'all here today? Um, basically, Ashley and I, um, trying to find out, like, about 
her status about, you know, she lives a lavish lifestyle of what she lived before. Um, I know when we got together, we, like, when we first started dating, and I basically told her, you know, I'm a blue collar guy. I drive a truck. I go off roading, and I'm basically, uh, you know, well, I, you, I, I you can drive a truck, and she drives a Bentley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And she's a hospice nurse. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I wrote a book I want to give you a copy of. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. You know, it's, it's kind of a family project. I okay. wrote it with my son published. We worked on it together. Yeah. And there's a section in it on benefit of the doubt. Okay. Because we talk, you know, we're raised up to give people the benefit of the doubt, right? Yeah. And in this book, I say that is crazy because you don't give benefit of the doubt. What you do is you do research and find out really what the truth is. What are you pretending not to know? Um, I don't know what I'm pretending not to know. I'm just pretending to just go with the flow and take the best, see her for who she is inside. Part of me also maybe is delusional. It's like maybe things don't add up sometimes. Well, let's talk about the delusional part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she drives a Bentley. She wears expensive clothes. She goes to dinner in Beverly Hills and uh -huh. Bel Air. She, do I mean, she does all of this. Where do you think she gets that money, and why do you think people would give it to her? Well, before she told me she dated older men that had money. Now how it continues, I have no idea. I know she's success successful in her hospice care. She has her own business. So I go from, okay, maybe some, I've seen some nurses that are successful. So I said, okay, well, that's just who she is. The truth is she meets men over a website. Oh, what do you mean? Let's take a break. I'm going to tell you all about it when we come back. There's a secret in my life that Susie doesn't know about, and I want to reveal it to him on the show. It has to do with being a sugar baby. Closed captioning provided by... Want to give your family the very best in taste, freshness, and nutrition? It's EB. Eggland's best. Better egg. about Trumu. It's nutritious and delicious. Plus, it contains no artificial growth hormones. Trumu, a truly good thing. As a real estate agent, it's my job to help people find homes that fit their needs today with comfort and financial peace of mind for the future. People like George and Dolores. When we first started to look at houses, cost, of course, is a consideration. I mean, we're going to be retired, so the income isn't exactly what it used to be. If you think you can't afford to move, think again. Because there's an FHA-insured loan for home buyers 62 and older that's specifically designed to help you buy the home you want with fewer financial worries and limitations. I'm telling all my older adult home shoppers about it. It's the best kept secret for funding the retirement lifestyle you've always wanted. I don't have to make another mortgage payment and the only thing I'm responsible for is insurance and taxes. I said, where do I sign up? It's a special kind of home equity conversion mortgage called Heckam for Purchase or H4P. It can increase your buying power to help you buy the home you want now with no monthly mortgage payments. We ran it by our financial guy and he said, it looks like a no brainer to me. An H4P loan can help you buy more house than you expected and preserve more of your retirement savings. We are not strapped for money and we still have our nest egg. To find out if H4P is right for you, call RMF today for your free buyer's guide. And we don't have a mortgage payment and yet we still have a very beautiful house. If you're 62 or older and can meet the cash down payment requirement, whether from savings or the sale of your current home, you may qualify. To get your free buyer's guide and find out how much buying power may be available to you, call RMF at 1-855-881-2431. Call today, 1-855-881-2431. You're watching CBS 21. Caesar had no idea that I was seeking rich men. He knew that I dated rich men. He just didn't know where I met them. 
Well, I'm talking to engaged couple Ashley and Caesar. They've been together for two years, and before they tie the knot, Ashley wants to confess a secret to Caesar. He knows that she's been dating wealthy men in the past, older men, wealthy men, and that they've given her gifts. But you don't know the whole story. Do you know what a sugar baby is? No. Do you know what a sugar daddy is? Uh, so I don't know. If somebody has money. I don't. I don't know. Where did you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> I actually grew up in Mexico. It was a little farm country, so it was. Uh, okay, out there. that's why I asked. Yeah, I was never. Yeah. yeah, I came to the United States when I was probably about maybe 10, 12 years old. Stuff like this, I'm, I'm not exposed to. I, you know, I just went in there, hardworking construction worker, and pretty much it. Yeah, and <clears throat> you know that about him, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what do you want to tell him? Um, basically that I am on a website called speakingarrangements.com and a few others where I, might, I meet the rich older guy. It doesn't mean that I have to have sexual relations with them. It's a good thing. I've experienced nothing but good. It's gotten me through nursing school. Um, a lot of other things, I mean, it's provided for the both of us as well. So it's not like I'm doing it selfishly. It's just um, something that I've done for five or six years now. It's not a negative thing at all. I've, uh, how can it not be negative? You're, I mean, it's gotten me through school. It's gotten me my business. It's gotten so me. What, what is this? What is what is it that you do? Or you just go on dates with them. It's not. I mean, there's nothing that I have to do. There's nothing that. So the guys are just wanting to give you money. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? Well, I came here because of, I guess what I assumed before, and well, how does she get these things? Now I know now. I can't provide that. She knows that. She says that she stopped going on these dates. Uh -huh. That she doesn't do that anymore. Okay. If that's in her past, are are you able to let that go? With work and counseling and maybe from help from you, Dr. Phil, then maybe. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I still go on the site and I look at the life that, you know, I used to lead. It's not a bad thing. I don't think, you know, it's bad at all. I'm not an escort. I'm not out there doing anything bad. But you understand. I just happen to wake up the next day and have $5,000 in my account. Do I think that's wrong? No. See, Caesar and I look at this in a different position. Of course. We wouldn't want to be involved with somebody that's involved with other men that are giving her money. Right. Because that just seems wrong at so many levels. Right? But you don't see you, him you, walking away, right? Because I'm a good person still. Just because I'm on a website doesn't mean that. You, you would not, if, if you were married to her, you would not want her on this website. No. No. You owe him the truth. What is the absolute drop dead truth? Are you still going to the website? Yes. Okay. And are you still talking to men on the website? I'm not communicating. I'm just looking at the lifestyle that I could be leading. Okay. If you marry this woman, you would want her to do what with regard to this website and all of these prior relationships that she's had? Stop. To stop this lifestyle. Like I told her when we first met, this is who I am. This is how I live. I don't, I don't have that lavish lifestyle. She accepted. And you're going to be concerned that you're going to be sitting there working, coming home all dirty from a hard day at work, and she's going to be sitting there thinking, man... I could be in Rome tonight. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I could be in Rome tonight. And are you concerned that you're going to say, look, this is too mundane for me? No, I don't think it's ever going to get boring with Caesar, but um, it's not boring. It's just, I know the lifestyle that I, I could be leading. Like you said, you know, he'll be dropping his hard hat. And I'm like, I just got invited to Europe yesterday. And I'm looking at the two worlds and I'm kind of like, <clears> hmm. <throat> grow accustomed to a certain lifestyle, it's hard to give up. You're not going to find a man with any kind of backbone, self-worth, or self-esteem that's going to be okay with you being supported by other men. Tomorrow on an all-new Dr. Phil. You're breaking my fingers! A dangerous marriage. I believe that my wife has poisoned me. Are you trying to kill your husband? Absolutely not. You said he ran over your foot. That's tomorrow. Closed captioning provided by... 
Healthy Choice Cafe Steamers use steam to give you both crisp vegetables and juicy chicken. And you pour the sauce. Healthy Choice Cafe Steamers. With psoriatic arthritis, I had intense joint pain that got worse and worse. Then my rheumatologist prescribed Embril. I'm Phil Mickelson, pro golfer. Embril helps relieve pain and stop joint damage. I've been on the course and on the road. Embril may lower your ability to fight infections. Serious, sometimes fatal events, including infections, tuberculosis, lymphoma, other cancers, nervous system and blood disorders, and allergic reactions have occurred. Before starting Embril, your doctor should test you for tuberculosis and discuss whether you've been to a region where certain fungal infections are common. You should not start Embril if you have an infection like the flu. Tell your doctor if you're prone to infections, have cuts or sores, have had hepatitis B, have been treated for heart failure, or if you have symptoms such as persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness. Embril help relieve my joint pain, but the best part of every journey yeah! is coming home. Ask if Embril, the number one biologic medicine prescribed by rheumatologists, can help you stop joint damage. CBS Tonight. This is Captain Gregson, NYPD. Somebody stop me, somebody knows. Sir? Please All right, stay calm. Put Holmes and Watson. Two bodies, two detectives. Every case is mind over matter. I never guess. We observe and then we deduce. You're really bad. Oh, that's a word for it. Our only interest is the truth. He failed to provide a compelling alibi and then refused to allow the police to search his home. I'm inclined to think he's innocent. New Elementary. Tonight only CBS. Oh, Denise, I love this new bedroom set. It's all from Value City Furniture. And it was a steal. I knew it! You're going away for a long time, Denise. A steal means it was super affordable. Tell it to the judge. She just did. Jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. During the Veterans Day sale, get 10% off your purchase. Plus, no interest financing until 2016 when you spend just $9.99 and up. Value City Furniture. Style comes easy. Our Twitter's just blowing up. I mean, this is, people are just blowing up. Depcha 213 says, do the decent thing and give him back his ring. He's too nice a guy to be taken for granted and advantage of. <laughs> Hashtag Dr. Phil, sugar baby ladies. Then, you see what she looks like, though? Pretty Unlimited says, he should be concerned that she may be manipulating him as well. Uh, at Jenny Drama says, wake up, Caesar. You know who Ashley is. You need to have self-worth and find something better for yourself. So... Yeah. Yeah. Do you see what these women look like? I can understand why, you know, they're like that. Just saying. Oh, okay. Um, Let's do this Twitter blow up again. <laughs> you're not comfortable with her being involved in this. Of course not. And if she, did, if she continued this, then you would be unwilling to move forward. Yeah. So you, she's either going to have to stop this completely or you're out of here. Yeah, it's either stop today or no. It's, it's either one way or another. But you let me know now, or I'm walking out. Yeah. And he's in, that's a fair request, right? I give right? him that, but then it's okay, then make more money than I do. I make more money than he does. Well, Brandon Wade is here. Uh, he is the CEO of Seeking Arrangement. He says he initially started the website because he was shy and thought offering women a financial incentive would help him with dates. Um, so, Brandon, that's why you say you started this website? That's absolutely right, Dr. Phil. Um, yeah. when, I, I was, when I was young, I was really shy. And some guys have six packs, you know, abs and muscles, and that's their way of attracting women. And for successful guys who might be shy, uh, their wallets and their generosity um, is, is one way of attracting women as well. Yeah, and, and you got a lot of publicity recently in a negative way. It was a negative event, but it gave your side a lot of publicity, right? That's absolutely right. Following up now on the high-priced call girl who was accused of killing a Google executive with a heroin injection. The incident happened on his yacht in Santa Cruz. She's been called a high-priced prostitute, but her name is Alex Tickleman. Police say the security video from the yacht owned by the victim, Forrest Hayes, shows Tickleman wiping down surfaces and closing the blinds before she left the yacht. 
We know that when we arrested her, she thought that she was coming for a date with our officer. We know that when we arrested her, she had drugs in her possession. She had a fully loaded needle and syringe with heroin in it. It's shocking Mr. Hayes would have ended up with this person in his life. It's unfortunate and it's tragic. But so certainly a, a, a negative event. Uh, but you say the activity on your website went up like five, six hundred percent. That's absolutely right. When news uh, hit, um, more people came to the site and more people joined. So it, it, it's a world with a lot of dimensions that you don't want to be any part of, right? No, you want no part of that world. None of it, no. Are you willing to give all this up for him? You have to understand when you grow accustomed to a certain lifestyle, you know, it's, it's hard to give up. It's almost an addiction. Do you want an expensive handbag, or do you want a man that the thing loves is, I'm, you? I make my and own money. I can, I can usually go out and afford an expensive well, handbag myself, but why not know, do it times two? <laughs> well, why not do it times two? Mm -hmm. Because you're not going to find a man with any kind of backbone, self-worth, or self-esteem that's going to be okay with you being supported by other men. <laughs> and then you're, I'm just telling you. That's just... And, yeah, you, you can kill a messenger, but I'm just <laughs> telling you, that's the reality of it. And if you want help with this, to sit down with a professional and reason through this, I will provide that for you. Okay. But I, I'm not sure that you are even willing to do that. I'm willing, yeah. Well, I'd like to let us know what happens, okay? I, do. I will make that available to you guys. All right, next we're switching gears. We're going to talk to reality TV star Kendra Wilkinson about how she's coping following allegations that her husband, Hank, had an affair. Will her marriage survive? Well, we're going to meet her next. We'll be right back. A transsexual. You think he had sex with a transsexual? Last week, there was a call to me saying, there's a rumor. Hank, just admit it. People with type 2 diabetes come from all walks of life. If you have high blood sugar, ask your doctor about Farsiga. It's a different kind of medicine that works by removing some sugar from your body. Along with diet and exercise, Farsiga helps lower blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes. With one pill a day, Farsiga helps lower your A1C. And although it's not a weight loss or blood pressure drug, Farsiga may help you lose weight and may even lower blood pressure when used with certain diabetes medicines. Do not take if allergic to Farsiga or its ingredients. Symptoms of a serious allergic reaction include rash, swelling, or difficulty breathing or swallowing. If you have any of these symptoms, stop taking Farsiga and seek medical help right away. Do not take Farsiga if you have severe kidney problems, are on dialysis, or have bladder cancer. Tell your doctor right away if you have blood or red color in your urine, or pain while you urinate. Farsiga can cause serious side effects including dehydration, genital yeast infections in women and men, low blood sugar, kidney problems, and increased bad cholesterol. Common side effects include urinary tract infections, changes in urination, and runny nose. Need to lower your blood sugar? Ask your doctor about Farsiga. And visit our website to learn how you may be able to get every month free. It's our biggest sale of them all at JCPenney. The entire store is on sale now. Get $10 off with your coupon when you spend $25 or more. Four big buys like $12.99 sweaters for her and flannel for him. JCPenney. When it fits, you feel it. I recommend Nature Made Fish Oil because I trust their quality. They were the first to have a product verified by USP, an independent organization that sets strict quality and purity standards. Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended fish oil brand. Kinder Prep Academy is proud to be chosen as the leading child care provider in Central PA. Enroll your child today and know you are choosing the best child care for your little one. Now you can save up to 40% off your child care expenses with a flex spending account. Kinder Prep Academy makes reimbursement easy by completing your flex spending account reimbursement forms. Enroll your child today at Kinder Prep Academy. The best care and the best prices. Kinder Prep Academy, where learning begins. 
I got seriously hurt at work, and I've got some questions. Shouldn't I get paid for all my time missed from work? Wouldn't it be best to just handle it without a lawyer and trust the system? I'm attorney Richard Freeburn, and we can help. We answer these kinds of work injury questions every day. I called the Sevens, and Freeburn and Hamilton got me $250,000. Now there's your answer. If you've been hurt on the job, we have your answer. Call the winning number. Call the Sevens. It's just that easy. Call the Sevens. Call 777-7777. If you are going to be in the Los Angeles area and you would like free tickets, go to drphil.com and click on Be in the Audience. Or you can call 323-461-PHIL. That's 323-461-7445. Well, reality TV star Kendra Wilkinson's marriage is in turmoil as allegations that her husband Former football player Hank Basket had an affair with a transsexual, and all the drama and heartbreak played out on her reality show, Kendra on Top. But Kendra's reality TV star started shining long before she met Hank. It was launched at the Playboy Mansion. Kendra Wilkinson hit the big time as one of Hugh Hefner's girlfriends on the E! reality series, The Girls Next Door. She then went on to star in the spinoff hit, Kendra and Dancing with the Stars. In 2009, Kendra tied the knot with pro football player Hank Basket at the Playboy Mansion. Kendra Wilkinson in crisis over her broken marriage to Hank Basket. In July of this year, Kendra's life was turned upside down when rumors circulated that her husband of five years had engaged in an alleged affair with the transsexual. The shock and devastation played out as the cameras rolled on her Wii TV series, Kendra on Top. This is the one time I'm trying to get you to not believe everything you read. Hank, just admit it. I didn't do anything. She's now caught in a media storm and here today to discuss how she can move forward. Wow, good to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. I'm a huge fan. Well, the, you're in a mess. I'm, a, I'm in a big mess, yes. So, wh this has put a strain on your relationship, clearly. It has, it um, has. Do you believe you can survive it? Um, do you want to survive it? I 100% want to survive it. I mean, we have two kids. Um, right. Uh, you know, this just came out of nowhere. I mean, it really did. I mean, this supposedly happened while I was eight months pregnant. Um, but if you really, it's, it's pretty weird because if you look at it from the outside, it looks like a big pile of you know what. It, right. it really looks gross. It looks, you know, humiliating, embarrassing. It just looks really bad. But from the inside, um, what I'm doing is I'm taking it moment to moment to moment to moment. What's right for me right now at this moment? What's right for me at this next moment, the next moment? I had to literally take it minute to minute and not jump ahead and make any rash decisions. I mean, that's, that's the way I'm surviving this right now. You laughed when you first heard this. Like, how I ridiculous. Did. I did. But do you believe it happened? I believe parts of it. I don't believe all of it. I believe the polygraph test that this person took is um, is not as accurate as they claim it is. Do you believe that your husband had some relationship with this person? I don't believe it was really called and considered a relationship. Um, I believe that, uh, you know, if anything, I believe that he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, here's what happened when Kendra confronted her husband, Hank, uh, with the story that he had had an affair with a transsexual. Is going to be? We're going to talk to her about that. Is she going to stay with Hank or is she going to leave after the break? Newsletter. Log on to drphil.com today. Well, I'm back with Kendra and you say you live on the Hollywood Minute. I mean, it's just pressure, pressure, pressure. I mean, how do you keep from going crazy? How do you cope with all of this? Um, I just believe the only control, the only control you really do have is focusing on your health yeah. and your diet, your mental health, 
You know, what you eat in the day, you can control. Like, I'm on the Atkins diet right now, and it's been the biggest change for me. It's gotten me to be more confident through these times. It's gotten me to uh, focus on, you know, how to, I mean, really how to stay nice looking and raise two kids. I mean, that's the, if there's one thing I'm going to do for myself, it's, you know, control um, my diet and my health. Yeah, so you stay focused on something you can control and then work on the others that comes along. Are you going to stay married? I, I want to. I love Hank. He is the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. But unfortunately, this moment was the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. But I do feel like, I, and I believe, I, I was given this heart to use for this moment to forgive him. And you're going to do that? I want to. Huge. Thank you for being thank here. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I want to thank all of my guests today. A special thanks to Brandon Wade from Seeking Arrangement and reality TV star Kendra Wilkinson. You can catch Kendra on top on Fridays on WeTV. Log on to drphil.com. Share your thoughts on our message boards. We'll see you next time. Thank you.